All right, welcome everyone with Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, episode, episode one. one. All right. It's yeah. finally happening. <laughs> I, I'm yep. ready to go back to Night City. This mm -hmm. is a world that I had no idea was so vibrant uh, a few years ago, and then I played Cyberpunk 2077, and while the game was uh, uh, a mess, Hot garbage. Well, no, it was it was a it was a pile of really really beautiful potential garbage. Mm. Um, it, it still was a mess, and one of the things that I had no idea, even though a bunch of our Discord community had been telling me. You gotta, you gotta like look out for this thing. You gotta look out for this man. The, the people that are running behind this anime are gonna make it crazy. I'm thinking to myself, no, the game was awful. The anime is gonna be awful. Mm -hmm. Where does that logic make any sense? No, no, this is an Amaishi anime. Yep, this guy is a fucking legend, and, and apparently this anime is legendary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, other than that, uh, Jacob, yeah. We, we know uh, the, the designs of the main character, and and maybe, I think I, I mean, know it's, it's one a, other design. It's going to be an Amaishi, you know, trigger right, right. anime, where I, there's, <laughs> the main character is going to look very, you know, specific. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. I also know, I don't know about if you know this one, so I'm not going to say it just in case. Uh -huh. I know about a certain uh, negotiations situation that happened between oh, Netflix yeah. and Trigger. Yeah, I know about oh, yeah, that yeah. one, too. The yeah. lolly stays. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm excited to meet. I decided to meet her. Um, I I really really want to know what was like the the guiding like function for this this anime because if there's a lot of tie-ins to Cyberpunk 2077, it could be interesting to have the you know little bit of extra perspective and then kind of see what you think as someone who hasn't played the game. But also given that this is a like a one and done, like this is not a like this is not a thing that's getting like any more like sequels or mm. anything like that. It's just a yeah, just a complete product there. Um, but which, also, which which Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven wasn't. So that's that's going to be interesting experiencing a completed product within that world. Yes, but fun fact: if you're into TTRPGs, mm -hmm. the whole Cyberpunk world is actually True. based off of a Cyberpunk uh, a 20, 2020, I believe, uh, was the original system. TTRPG system, and there's a new one, Cyberpunk Red. Yeah, and there's because of the game and Edge Runners and things like that. Right, and all that is based off something from the '70s. But, but right, yes. that that was the Cyberpunk 2020. Yeah, that was a the, right when when 2020 was like way the future. Right, you know? right, right, right. I thought yeah. you were meaning there was a 2020 module or something. Oh but no, yes, no, it was that called was, Cyberpunk that was 2020. Actually called 2020. Yeah. Right, and now yeah. we're in 2020, 2023. So yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. things are kind of cyberpunk. Kinda. Mm -hmm. You know, corporations rule everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've yep. seen societal decay, you know, quite a bit. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited to meet these characters and mm -hmm. uh, watch a Trigger anime. Right. It's been a while because a basically bit. I watched Premiere. Yep. That's just a movie, even though it was really good. I, Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a hot minute. It has been a hot minute. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Get that music going. Wait, oh, hell yeah. Does this mean there's a chance that we'll get to see Keanu Reeves in an anime? Keanu Reeves is definitely not going to be in this. No, no, no not like Sorry. actually in the production, but like his Johnny Silverhand character. I don't think Johnny Silverhand will be in this, honestly. Yeah. Oh. What the hell are you doing? Back it up. Oh. Get shot. oh, shit. Well, hoo -hoo. they just got murked. <laughs> yep. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's some big shells. Holy shit. So is this someone that went nuts from their uh from their cyberware? Maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah. God. <laughs> Bodies just get shredded. Oh yeah! Oh, oh my god! Oh, it's beautiful. All right. Yep. Overdrive. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. All right. Who we got? Who we got? Freak sporting military great eyes. Yeah. Get to it. Oh, oh, they hacking him? Yeah. God. 
wild. <laughs> It's a video game! Wait. So, what do you think? Yes! Oh, it's a ripper doc. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Doc, hey, you gotta tell me who keeps feeding you these nuggets. <laughs> oh, Saki, who else? Ain't no other editor who turns out BDs that sweet and green. Right, right. Oh, that's awesome. Anyway, her and don't have more chips for you to slug. Really? What? Something special. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. Cut the shit, man! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah, so that's like a memory hopping thing where you go into the retrieved memories of somebody who did do that thing and you can live it yourself to cool. feel the excitement of it. Spending all your money on, uh... Yep. A military grade implant was found missing from the body of Lieutenant Colonel James Norris, shot dead by Max Tag last Mom, night. The end you're on TV. Nova. Not Nova, David. A bloodbath. Hmm. Go on. Off to school. Okay. Bye. And that's the BD he just used, too. Yeah. That's a bit quick, if you mm -hmm. think about it. Oh, the vibes are on point. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've literally, <laughs> I've literally been in this area. Oh yeah? I've literally been in this area, yeah. This is amazing. They literally took parts in game and just rendered them out. Yeah, holy shit. Yep, yep. It's just nuts. Holy yep. shit. Just another day in the life. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. That building. Whoa. Oh. Hello there. Feels very Promarin design. Mm hmm. Aw, go to school, buddy. Yep. Okay, this is so extra, the amount of things that they're just showing. For just, like, background atmosphere? Just for atmosphere and vibes of the city. Yeah. Like, we're in Night City. Arasaka, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At this time, I ask all students to log into the green room for meditation. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> 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 More like rip, Doc. Yep. Uh huh. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience my son has. Uh. I wouldn't call this a matter of money, Mrs. Martinez. Although I must say it was quite an expense for us to restore the system. Of course, and I will pay for the repairs. Uh, As I understand, Mr. Martinez modified his headset. What happened? Didn't I tell well. you to get the upgrade? <sighs> Damn! Oh. Gave me a fully bought drive. You know we don't got that kind of cash just lying around. Mm. Can't you sit still a minute? <sighs> Buddy. <sighs> thinking lately. Yeah. About what? Maybe I drop out. Find some work or whatever. Do you hear yourself? Even if I do graduate, they'll never accept me. No kid from Santa will ever be a suit. Mm. Don't want to be okay. one anyway. Okay. You have to work hard and rise through the ranks. My son at Arasaka Tower, top floor. I can just see it. You've got this deal. Yeah. You're my son. Uh, hey, I get the feeling it's not gonna go that way. <laughs> oh shit! Oh fuck! Are you kidding me? Put the brakes on! Yeah! Oh shit. This ain't a BD. Nope. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Are they in the. Okay, Mom. good. They're not in the water. Okay. Mom. Oh, that upside down shot. That is. Trauma. Trauma. Yep. He's not a client. Neither is she. 
Oh, fuck. Damn. Yeah, that's right. They don't care. You yeah. You don't have money. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> you got a blackout, yeah. Well, that's. Oh, we're... <laughs> this is the first episode. Dude. Yeah. Was a success. Well, hasn't come to just yet. Okay, okay. Oh. Need her to stay a few more nights. Oh. Is it dark? Okay, if I see her. No can do, buddy. Visitation ain't part of your package. Oh. Uh. <laughs> anyway. I should get started on the paperwork. What the fuck? Oh. All right, all right, here we go. Another account, Christ. Just enough. Good Just luck so with much. this. Never knew. So that it settled the medical. Still got to cover rent. Okay, okay. Doc, hey, you get the still I sent? Listen. Don't think I've forgotten I owe you a kick in the nuts mm. for that shoddy bootleg. Yeah. But check this. Shit. Cyberware. <laughs> Looks, uh, military, doesn't it? Nah, fuck that noise. No way it's that cheap. Oh, really? It's not a lot. Trying to scam him, maybe? Come on, Choom. Whatever. Wasn't selling anyways. By the way, don't expect me to push your XBDs at school anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no serial number and what? Military grade, this thing really? It definitely ain't legal, but whatever. Whoa, what the hell are these specs? Okay, <laughs> someone's gonna get jacked up. <laughs> yep. Same route, same day. Uh huh. Yeah, can't go to school, need a job. <laughs> Checking to see if she's there again? No. No. It's your dumbass classmates. You know, since we're chatting, I've just always wondered, how could she afford to send you to Arasaka Academy anyway? Here to explain, Martinez? Go on, tell us. How does mommy pay your way? What's any Night City bottom feeder do to make a quick euro buck, huh? <sighs> a couple of pretty salacious things come to mind. Tired of this shit. Kick his ass. Hold on, Chum. Who said we were done? Fuck off. Oh, what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh. Got anything slotted? MMA freeware? Oh, maybe? yeah. Fuck. Nothing. No. Nope. Yep. You're a regular ass human. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck. Try me again. I suggest you pack some serious chrome. Oh. Just drop out. Oh my you god. I prefer. Halt. Oh. oh. Well, that's ah. a that's an origin story, all right. Yep. We got our motivations. She was stable this morning, but then her vitals began to nosedive. Oh no. Fuck. The surgery was successful. True. But only so much we can do on the discount package. Worn down as she was, I doubt she'd have lasted much longer. Anyway, I'm supposed to tell you we offer some burial options. People in Night City want corpo gigs for a reason, kid. Holy shit. Oh my god. Good day, Mrs. Martinez. We received a call for the repairs to our system infrastructure. As agreed, I've sent you an email with the payment details. Implant I showed you. So you take it off me for 10k? Six now? Said 10 yesterday, Choom! Come on, that's just one fucking day! And we both know that it's worth way more! Hell yeah, I looked into it and I... Oh yeah? Well, fuck you too! <laughs> Bitch! Yeah, you're gonna have to use it to get mm -hmm. money. Yep. There's a lesson in this, David. Oh, oh my here. God. Don't make the same mistake. <laughs> 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 uh huh. Mm. Ripper Doc is here. Yep. Or here at the Ripper Doc. Yep. That the big bad son? <laughs> not a badge of fixing town who's not looking for that built. Told you though, 
Ain't gonna find anyone sane willing to take it off your hands. Not here to sell. Nope. I'm here to install. Fused here. High time I crumb the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah! Alright. Took took a second to get started and here we uh, are. Here we are. Shit! Alright. Let's 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 uh Let's get to know your name, David. What you all about? <sighs> that was that, that was, was a ride. That was good. And yet, that's just like the beginning. That's the intro. Yeah. Right? In some ways, like it, it was, it was really chill. Like yeah. a, a lot of it was just kind of like set up and just getting everything uh, ready to roll. And yet, my heart is racing right now and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Holy mm, shit. Mm, that yeah, was good. Trigger, it might be just giving us a, a, a delightfully, uh, yeah, wow, yeah. punchy uh, opening episode yes, here. Yes, punchy. Yeah. That's, a, that's mm -hmm. a good word for it. Like, I loved the, the full launch. Just, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I just half expected the, oh, no, 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 but it's going to be high know, pitched, you know? He went even further back than that. You know, <laughs> yeah, you got exactly. Fist in the North Star, no JoJo's here. <laughs> but, okay, the atmosphere was absolutely splendid like it was it was it was wonderful and just dreary yeah like yeah. like super just down and just mm -hmm. ugh, the lights and everything are so pretty but it hides the just just disgusting uh oh yeah just depravity of this place well yeah. and and i feel like i feel like that so um generally with like you know amaishi shows you've got a lot of like little details just you know mm -hmm. all all on screen everywhere right right and that can that can make for a lot of uh good comedic bits right yes yeah but i feel like here it was used wonderfully to sell exactly what kind of world this is, yeah. right? Where, Where David lives, yep, basically. Yep. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. you're, he's walking by, you know, people on the street, and it's like, oh, yeah, those are little vibrating things on their on their dicks, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's a, a, you know, something else, right? Just yeah. all these all these little things sprinkled throughout, and and I think that that's absolutely wonderful because, yeah, the cyberpunk world is very rich and stuff. So yes. Let's, let's yes. show that. Explore show all the the wild things that you could show there. Mm -hmm. um, just the idea of BDs being something that exist, um, something that was taken off. And this is also something that's very cool here. While David does not necessarily see the story that's going on around him, there are some very clear things that this episode is setting up. Yep. One, there was the attack on Arasaka Tower, which mm -hmm. very much seems like it's something that they're trying to set up in that in the game, Arasaka Tower is something that gets attacked away in the past. Oh. And it's uh, something that kind of happens multiple times in the story. Mm -hmm. And I believe that could have been Arasaka Tower. Maybe. We'll see. But if that's the case, that could be where Johnny Silverhand was in the story right there. Oh, okay. It's basically that that's him, Young, doing his whole thing for his origin story. But, but even if that's not the case... We had the BD that was taken fresh off of something that just, just a few happened hours old. when someone with military grade cyberware went into cyber psychosis or something yep. or something, which is rare, by the way. That's 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 a bit that's a bit well, wild. Yeah. And the fact that they got that super quickly, got it to him to be like, yeah, yeah, just have fun with this one. Oh, OK, cool. Mm -hmm. So there's something that could be chasing behind David very quickly who gets to the Ripper dock before it gets to him, but then finds out that you were just implanted with military-grade cyberware as well, David could be, like, two steps ahead of some serious major plot. Oh, I, I get the feeling he he definitely will be. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and and that's and that's where the action will kick things up. Right. Um, now that we have our motivation for our main character, we can have him going and doing his stuff, and, and this will th that can be the way that it is kept, you know, exciting and stuff. Because mm -hmm. you think he'd be so lucky, you know, yeah. after, after his mom dying that, like, Things wouldn't continue to be shitty. <gasps> no, 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 no. No. That's not the kind of world that we're living in. Yeah. Choom. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I I also mm -hmm. loved the little thing of her having the moment of, I envision you at, like, the top floor. Uh, the corpo of, and all of that. Corp, uh, yeah, wherever the, the building was or something like that. And in my mind, immediately I went to, wait, wasn't that building potentially just attacked, you know, on the just the mm -hmm. side there? Maybe this is a thing where actually, no, she's being quite prophetic. He will be up there, but it's not oh, for uh -huh. necessarily the yeah. reasons of being one of them. He'll right. be he'll uh -huh. be um he'll yeah. be causing some destruction of his yes. own up yes. there. So that's 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 also kind of a fun little little thing there potentially. But also having then our main character being so filled with this rage and 
anger and emotion and pain and sadness and all that really gets us kind of hyped to see what he'll do because this episode kind of showed us how he kind of runs away from conflict. He tries okay, to kind yeah. of cheat the system to avoid conflict in general. Mm -hmm. And it ends up bringing about more consequences. I feel like thematically that sets us up for a really cool type of flip for his switch as a main character here uh -huh. where he kind of goes, oh, okay, I'm not going to go crazy, but I am going to let myself go loose here. And that's going to cause even more problems. So, but I, I mean, he doesn't have anyone else left to lose. So, you know, it's all well, fine right. Now. But, it, but it's the kind of thing that I would say you typically set up for a main character that dies. Ooh, okay. Like that goes out basically in, right. in a blaze of a blaze of glory, basically. Or, or potentially, yeah. you know, since we uh, he's the only main character that we really have right now, but we know that there are going to be other main characters. And they teased uh, someone that looks very main character ish with their mm -hmm. hair at the very least for a for an Imaishi show. Yeah, exactly. So I wouldn't be surprised that if they also potentially went the direction of the ah, okay, he has nobody, he gets desperate, he does all of these like like crazy mm -hmm. reckless things. And maybe he runs into some other reckless people that, you know, join yeah. him in those causes. But then what happens when suddenly you actually start to really care about those people too? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Then then suddenly you can get hurt again. Right. You know. And also one of the things that I that I just thought of that I was like, ooh, that's 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 dirty. That's mm -hmm. nasty. Di Mom died from a car accident, right? Yeah. But it happened when she was driving him back from the school. And she had to go there mm -hmm. because of the shit that he did it, that caused trouble at school. Yeah. So literally, if he hadn't done that whole thing, yep. she would still be alive. Yeah. Like, and then on top of that, you've got that dipshit asshole, you know, dude who sends you Cats messages. Low, yeah. Yeah. But you, like, I got the vibe that he can't actually choose to not play the message. Like, uh, it's just... It's just, hey, here you no, go. No, no, they're, they're, they showed up a thing there of a call. Uh, mm -hmm. The heads up display thing that they're doing for like the calls or the text messages or, or, or for, for whatever. Most of them have been, um, at the very least, um, they have voice attached to them, which is yeah. nice. But um, in the game, that was something that maybe as a joke that you could mm -hmm. be right about this is that you couldn't ignore them. That was oh. actually a part of it. But there were um, follow-ups on that that you could ignore. Gotcha. So, so it is very much a... You tap it, and then it's you know voice activated and stuff like that. But that was that was probably one of the cooler things about the game was that you had this whole kind of running list of people that you could interact with and you could just chat with, huh? Like, and they would respond, and the, the conversation threads would go pretty deep and stuff as well. Okay, especially cool. the more um, voiced or the kind of importance of the character was. Sure, that so makes sense. It was a way to continue quests and stuff without having to um, actually like go to a location or things. Or like right, that. you didn't have to go to a location. You didn't have to go and turn stuff in unless there was a literal physical thing you needed to give to somebody. Mm -hmm. Most of the stuff could be handled just on this. So you'd be driving around on your motorbike or what have you, and then you'd be like, "Oh yeah, uh huh." Or the thing, but it would happen sometimes so many times that you would have like five messages sometimes right, right. where it'd like auto thing and you <laughs> it would get so fucked up that the audio would overlay and you'd have like God. Yeah, yeah. That's how broken the game was, is that you'd have sometimes like five people's messages playing all at once. And you just oh put the headphones out mm -hmm. and be like, All right, this is this is stupid. But yeah. Uh one of the thing other things that I loved about this episode is the way that they showed the cyberware just being awesome and badass and terrifying. Mm -hmm. From the cyber psychosis whole scene, which was beautiful and terrifying and wonderful i right. loved it showing loved us it. what it, his hardware could theoretically do what his well. hardware could do what the potential dangers of it are and you know all sorts of things like that and what kind of people end up getting sent in when there is a situation like that right yeah that there is there there are the people that come in that are beyond the regular like police officers well, private military force mm -hmm. yeah that, that put that shit down they're but, not cops either right no. right yeah yeah. And then, but then also when he's dealing with the classic, like, oh yeah, bully from school. Mm -hmm. And then, no, it's just, you don't have upgrades. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. And the part where like, it just showed his whole like skeleton, just, you know, lighting up and stuff from all the, all the stuff that he was hooked up to. It's just like, oh yeah, that's wild. Yep. And he just, and he just stops your, your, your fist with like a hand, you know, mm -hmm. like, like casually. Mm -hmm. I, I loved the comedy of him doing the, <laughs> what the but but specifically the not hitting him at the beginning the, yeah yeah the not him at the beginning but then the terror of realizing oh god wait the reason why this is so so freaky is because he's completely at this kid's mercy yep there is nothing he can do here 
Right. He is so powerless. This guy spent whatever money he spent. They even showed the ad for the strong arm thing as he's going through his routine and stuff. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that, that's yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. But then the, oh, oh, God, no. The only reason why he's probably not killing this kid is because then he'll be, you know, a criminal and stuff. Sure. But other than that, no. Yep. No. The, and the speed at which it went from, like, funny joke because he's doing the whole, you know, Fist of the North Star thing without punching him to, no, he's punching you now. And no, like, I didn't yeah. I didn't really see any, like, blurred motion or whatever. It's just it's just everything's moving very fast. Yep. He's getting hit a lot. And and that's that's it. Yeah. God. Oh. Yeah. Oh man. I I I love the way that they are taking the setting and the world and then also just straight up taking parts of the game and just being like, "Yep. Mm-hmm. This is now in the anime." And given that this episode was very slow in setting things up and, you know, a lot of that stuff and, you know, they kind of had to make us get a little bit attached to the mom before they fucking killed her. Right. Um I feel like I feel like this episode kind of has that little bit of lull in it, but also we didn't get an OP. So No, we didn't. I feel like it's very apropos that the, OP the show starts is now. probably going to start with the second episode mm-hmm. where he's going to be hooked up, you know, chromed yep. up, jacked in. Mm-hmm. I, I am, I'm really fucking excited. And for also, that. if the idea of like, oh shit, you know, main character that gets cybernetics and all that stuff, if that just seems really cool mm-hmm. and you're into TTRPGs, system for this, there's, there's a whole rule set for like how you mm-hmm. kit out your character with different cybernetics and what cyber psychosis is and how to avoid it and, and all shit like that. It is, it is wild. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I've but all right. He's, he's, uh, he's at the Ripper dock mm-hmm. and, uh, yeah, I think the next episode is going to be wild. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I get the feeling it might be. Yeah. Y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there. And all this comes with discord access. You can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah. So if ain't that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.